What's going on guys? Way from Revolution here at Geneva Watch Days, day three, hanging out with one of my best friends in the watch industry, Xavier de Rocmoray. How are you, brother? Yes, way. Yeah. Lovely to see you. It's a pleasure to see you. That's cool. It's true that we have quite a long history. Yeah, indeed. That starts with fashion. Yes. For the one who don't know us from before interviews. Precisely. So we met thanks to the Chiffonelli brothers. Yes, exactly. And, uh, and from that meeting, well, the story grew. Yeah, that's great. But you know what's incredible is Xavier has created what I consider to be one of the great success stories in modern watchmaking as well. Chepek, which is now his brand, he's the CEO, he oversees everything, has become, over the last couple of mm -hmm. years, really a brand that everyone's crazy about. In particular, uh, the Antarctique, the integrated bracelet uh, watch, which is in a split second chronograph version and this version as well. Nice. And that amazing Osmium dial yes, that you launched earlier yes. this year was phenomenal. And also um, it, the, the, the more complicated watches mm. as well. So tell me a little bit about, that's phenomenal. Oh God, that's, so you can see. That's fantastic. That's called getting the goosebumps. That's fantastic. Ah, I know, it's fantastic. I, I nearly can see yeah, yeah, on exactly, the tattoo. Exactly. So Zavi, yeah. tell us this a little... is killing totally the effect of the Kedeberg. Yes. We should be talking about the other one, no? Yeah, we should, we should. Yeah. But it's, it's phenomenal. It's all about passion, you know? It's phenomenal. I love that watch. So Zavi, tell us a little prototype bit... prototype number one. No. Yeah. Can I see? Yes. Look. So even the... Even the I'm always changing it because we're testing always the evolution of it. Wow. So you see the German silver nut treated. Yes. Because that's uh, how we make the thing. And I love the and color. It's amazing. Prototype, one on ten. Oh, that's amazing. So look at the color of that German silver. It's become this sort of like beautiful yeah. champagne color. The oxidation is incredible. And that exactly. movement is one of the most beautiful movements. It's like a full bridge movement, but every single finger bridge has been skeletonized. That's stunning. And then the micro rotor, of course. Bro, phenomenal. I love this watch. Thanks. Okay, so. However, we're not here to talk about the Antarctique today. Uh, right. We're here to talk about some of the other watches that you yes. make as well, which yes. are equally beautiful and in two beautiful colors. But tell us a little bit about this and also the evolution of the movement. Yes, because this is really the origin of the Ribon Chapek. Right. And uh, when we have, we have to come back to why we re restarted Chapek, right. uh, which was by an encounter between I and myself and Sebastian. And because I was looking for a job, Huh? So, if you lose a job, I remember. keep spirits, keep the hope, and wait for the coin to flip. Exactly. Because life is a question of movement, the horse is in movement, and the coins are flipping always. Of course. So, we decided to stay true to, to Chapek. It seems to be a, a funny decision, you know, stay true to the Spiritus Rector. Of course. And it's, and it's not an easy decision. Right. And when you look at a lot of brands that are being reborn, they sometimes don't give any importance. Yes, to the past. I was going to say something else. <laughs> <laughs> to, uh, to the past and to yes. who was the person. And it's the opposite. Right. Here we have looked at all these watches, trying to imagine, trying to do what when, when we were in school, you know, and maybe for it was English school of writing. Right. And my French writing school, we had to analyze the poetry. And by, by reading the poem, we had to understand what the poet was trying to say. Yes. And here, by reading ah, the watch, yeah, okay. we were trying to think, you know, who is Chapek? What does he like? What does he want to say through the watches? Right, exactly. And we understood that the guy was in love with the beauty. Right. It was a quest for beauty, so that every watch was a new intent right. to make beauty made of something that is beautifully made and a little bit of chaos. Yes. Okay, yes. A, a spice. Right. So here you see the four hands are all different. Like, have you ever seen oh, a watch great. with four different hands oh, coming from four different hand sets of hands, you know? I love it. And then here it's quite crowded, yeah. and here it's all open. Yes. Here's a double hand, nobody yeah. uses it. Yes. The double hand. Double hand is great. So you have the, the, the numerals. Look how long they They're are. They're elongated. No, yeah. actually, if you look at it, it's, it's really, really modern so, looking. Exactly. No, it's, it's, it's but wonderful. from far, it's classic. Yes. So for us, it told us. Hey, Chapek, you have to remain in that direction. Right. Which is, from far people could think it's classic. Yes. And then you want to go closer because you already see something strange. Right. And the more you get closer, the more it gets under the skin. But you know, what I love, Xavier, is this complication, right? So you've got a double-sided yes. hand, and it's it's basically a seven-day power reserve indicator. But on one side, you have the days of the week, and on the other day side, you've got the, the amount of power reserve you have. 
And what I love about it is, if I'm not mistaken, it, people were told to rewind their watch after Sunday Mass. Exactly. Right? Yeah, and, I was and, and as the power reserve diminishes, you also have a second hand, yeah. uh, the other side of the hand that is always in the right corresponding yes. day as well. It's phenomenal. You know? It's also because I always thought that we are here on, on, on Earth as a passage yes. to prepare ourselves for eternity. I, I so would like to I'm so. not imposing any religion to anyone, yes. but I'm saying, you know, you should have a, a thought about eternity. You're so right, sir. You're so right. So then we created the 33. That was the traveling time from the past 1850 to, to this. OK, what, what I would like to show you guys, though, is, is you didn't just do it on the dial side. You did it on, no, the, on exactly. the move. You know. This is also a way to explain what means authenticity, right. what means to make a proper work when you when you decide to re, revive a brand, mm -hmm. OK? Because yes. that's really a revival. So here, just look at the two designs and the inspiration between the two. Oh, that's phenomenal. Yeah. I mean, the placement of the barrels, the gear train, the bridges, everything. It's and now phenomenal. you're going to see the new, uh, the new movement. Right. And you're going to see that we went even further. You see? I mean, the skeletonization the of the bridges just makes it so beautiful and open, you know? So we looked, we, we fell in love with the Atocalpa escapement that was on the Faubourg de Cracovie and then on the Antarctic. Right. And uh, we decided to implement it because, uh, yeah, it's one of the best uh, escapement with uh, the, four, the four different uh, little weight on each of the arm. That's fantastic. You, but a very good uh, watchmaker like Lorraine, she's going to set it to maybe 10 minutes wow. to make a, a plus two minus two or plus one minus one. Right. Phenomenal. So we have a huge time saved on yeah. that. Yes. And then it's like a hammer. It's very... Right very reg uh, reliable, stunning. regular, beating the time perfectly. I love a free sprung balance wheel. That's absolutely stunning. So when changing the balance wheel, we needed to change the balance bridge. Ah, of course. Once we change the balance, we say, OK, now that we are there, we should change the other bridge. Yes. yes. And then we remembered what an old and famous watchmaker told us in 2016 when he gave us the uh, honor of paying us a visit in uh, Basel world. OK. And we're in the booth in the hall 2.2. Okay. People don't even remember who, who it was. Who was the watchmaker? It was, uh, I don't know if I am. Um, well, everybody can understand, no? Is it Dufour? Well, yes, it is. Okay. Uh, he didn't say it. I just... I, just. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, you said it. Okay. <laughs> I said it. Because I don't want to... Yeah, okay. And then he said to us, use me glass rebises, you know, Bombay ah, rebises. Yes. Because this is this is a nice uh, autologery signature. It's got a better... Uh, is it less friction than the classic mm -hmm. ones? Yes. And so it's a signature of autology. Wow. And that's uh, the way to complete, you know, the evolution of the movement. Then we have to come back wow. to the... Uh, the dials the, are amazing. The dials. Yeah. And here we have taken our guilloché, yeah. the guilloché ricochet. Yes. We have uh, made the guilloché on the matrix. Mm -hmm. From the matrix, the stamping tool. Wow. The stamping tool stamps a silver plate. Wow. And on the silver plate, we uh, uh, put the enamel with uh, Claude Eric. It's phenomenal. So we created the blue after one year of work and iteration around the tone and the hue of blue that we, would, uh, we wanted to achieve. And here, I was influenced by Alessandro Sartori, uh, spring, summer, I think 2009, right. when he came out yes. with an incredible blue jacket. Yes. And people said, no, you cannot have a blue jacket like that. <laughs> and he created, he created a trend, you know? Yes. And so that's our blue, that's the Chapek blue, uh, in enamel. And for the green, Claude Eric told us, no, come on, I made the blue for you, the green is for Don Zecadron. <laughs> so we keep it and we'll use it with more of our partners. Nice. And we said, okay, that's fair, good. Phenomenal. So that's the way we, these two watches were born. Beautiful. And you still recognize the same sets of hands, the same double hand, well, with a touch with a touch of modernity, with this, this white that is crispy, that goes on the color, and that just, you know, make it really yes. readable, easy to read. Yeah. And it's a bit surprising, a I hand that is in white. Yes. But over the strength of the color, yeah. you needed the white. You understand? It's all about playing with the limit. Absolutely. Uh, contrast, not too much, but not too little. I think the end result is exactly like, you know, what we were talking about, this incredible pocket watch is it's, it's both classic, but 
you know, surprisingly really contemporary feeling as well. Yes. It's a totally unique design language, both for the perspective of the dial and also from the movement. And I love what you've done to advance the movement as well. So beautiful watches. Yes. Uh, may I ask, are, are they going to be made in a limited series or? No, not limited yes. for the moment. Uh, I think. Not limited for the moment. Limited so. by production. And suddenly you see that the CEO has do doesn't remember <laughs> no, 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 everything. No, no. Well, we are human beings, sorry. <laughs> At one moment in front of the camera, you can uh, you can suddenly have a doubt. Right. And uh, because also we wanted to come into a more normal pace. You yes. Know? There is it's so important. an excitement yes. that is also fostered by limited editions. Correct. And we have a lot of limited edition planned. So now when we can not limit, we don't limit. I think it's okay. a good idea. Yes. So it's a beautiful model, and we we wish it a long life. Excellent. So, Avi, thank you so much. Uh, the watch is wonderful. I love the authenticity of your vision, both from a movement and from a dial perspective. Um, yeah, really, just gorgeous, man. Yeah. Thank you. And it's coming back to the start of Chapek. Yes. And looking now at what is Chapek, it's quite an amazing journey. Absolutely. I'm the first surprise, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the first thinking, wow. How did we do it? You did it. I don't know. No, but you did something know. extraordinary. What we did with friends, yes. which is what is the most important. Oh, well, I feel the same way. Thank you, sir. Bye. It was a pleasure. Thanks. Cheers, guys. Bye, guys. Bye.